Hello everybody! I've got a super fun one today. Okay, um, anybody that loves Bell Trust, and especially Bell Trust Blondes, has hopefully seen that they have a new color that is coming out. I've seen a few styles with it already, so it might have been released. It's called, and I'm probably going to mess it up because I don't speak Spanish, um, but it's called Trey Leches which I guess translates to three milks. So, um, I've got one to show you today. Now, this one I bought from a wig sister. It does have a messed up lace front right here. Um, this is Dalgona 16 and it has been straightened, but I got this one um, for several reasons. Number one, because it was the new color and I wanted to see it so bad see how it looked and all. Um, but then also number two, I wanted something that I could kind of play with and kind of practice curling and straightening and everything else. Um, this obviously is long and if you've seen any of my videos, I don't do long. Um, so I had no intention of ever wearing this one out, which is why this messed up lace front, I don't know if you can see it right there, it doesn't really bother me because I have no need for a perfect lace front on one that I'm just going to play with anyways. But I wanted to show you the color today. That is what this video is about. So this particular color is a honey blonde, a golden blonde, and an ash blonde with a medium root. So you can see that here. Um, throughout, you can see some of that honey. You can see a little bit darker colors. You can see some of the golden, and then you can definitely see the ash. Now, as far as neutral, cool, whatever tone, I would definitely say this is more cool. If you've seen any of the other blondes, uh, there's more color to it than the bombshell, but not quite as much color as champagne with apple pie. So I actually put it in between those two um, as far as this blonde color. And I have a video coming, if I haven't already posted it, that is actually seven different blonde colors from Beltress. So you can see the difference between this one and bombshell, champagne with apple pie, honey with chai latte, all those. So I will spin around. Keep in mind, like I said, I purchased this one um, from a wig sister. I had no intention of ever wearing it out. Um, it does need a little bit of work. The ends, I don't know if you can see this, the ends are pretty dry, so it does need some heat. But like I said, I bought this one just to play with, just to try my hand at curling, try my hand at fixing the ends when they get like this. Um, the ones that I've had so far, I use a round heat brush and it, usually that's all I need. So I haven't actually had to go in with a flat iron or anything like that yet, but this one definitely needs something. So, you know, I mean, I'm not saying go buy you a wig that's messed up so you can play with it, but that was my purpose for getting this one, was just so I could play with it. I could try to fix the ends and wash them and everything else up till now. Um, I don't typically wear my wigs all day every day. I wear them when I go out um, for a couple hours here and there, so I haven't had to wash one yet, um, but I'm coming up, I'm gonna have to soon. And so I figured if I could play with one first, like this one, then I don't mess up my really good one. So anyways, I'm gonna turn around and let you see this color. Like I said, this was a Dalgona 16 that had been straightened. So, um, but this color is so cool. Look at this, oh my goodness. Hopefully you can see it. I know it's kind of hard sometimes, but my light 
that I have is in front of me is a neutral tone, and then I have a window to my left. So, it I mean, it is a decent representation during the day of color. Um, but I know monitors and cell phones and all that sometimes will pick up different colors more. So, hopefully you can see this color. It is super, super cool. Cool as in fun. Lovely, you love the color, etc. Uh, let me know what y'all think of this color here. Um, I'm kind of liking it, although truthfully, this is the blondest I've ever gone, except for the bombshell, which I haven't worn in public yet. So, um, you know, it is it is very blonde. Um, I don't want to call it a platinum -y, but it does have some kind of a little bit of those characteristics of just the real bright blonde and, you know, it's not going to look great on everybody, but um, I'm loving it. I really do. And I, I have, I think, three more coming in this color. Um, one of them and my most favorite style, Cafe Chic. And then I know I have Amaretto, and I'm wanting to say there's one more coming in this color. So anyways, I can't wait to see the difference between the different styles and all that. So anyways, let me know what you think in the comments um, if you would like this video and subscribe to see more. I've got, like I said, I've got a lot more coming. Um, and then I've got some color comparison videos and whatnot coming as well. And maybe, just maybe, if I feel like I can do it, I might try to video me repairing this spray. Um, now, this one is not really one that you can repair fully the way it is. It's just, it's never going to be perfect or near perfect, but I can stop the fraying a good bit. So, I might even try to video that when I get up the courage to do that. So, Anyways, that is it for this video. I can't wait to hear what you think of this new color. Oh my goodness. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.